Okay, I've had a few requests on the original trigger finger release surgery video, which took place 50 weeks ago. So I'm just lacking two weeks from a full year. I thought I'd go ahead and put some kind of an update in here. So 50 weeks ago, we had trigger finger. I had trigger finger release surgery right here as this finger was curling up pretty bad because I injured this tendon, put a big cyst on it. From carrying a 75 pound, five gallon bucket of red oxide primer and I knew it felt heavier than normal so I did google it. Red oxide primer is 14 pounds a gallon. Very heavy stuff. I carried it about 20 yards too far without a glove and a lot of that weight went right in here and it put a cyst. Uh, six weeks later I had an injection and I think another month or two later it came back so the orthopedic surgeon recommended surgery so that's what we did and right now it's much much better but there's a few things that I might need to mention. Range of motion. Here's my good hand. You can see this finger easily coming in, touching the ball of this hand right here. Cannot do it with this finger. I can push it down. Now it'll hurt like heck. It'll feel like I'm going to break it, and I can barely touch it. And that's about all I want to do at this point in time. On straightening it up, I can't straighten it up. That's all I can give it right there. It's got a slight bend in it from the middle knuckle out. I can't get that crooking like you take a normal finger and you you extend them out as far as you can they'll have a slight sweep up on them i cannot get this middle finger to do it i'm hoping another year i get full range of motion on it so i'm hoping another year it all works out but i just laid these tools out here to show you i can get full grip on a screwdriver i'm not giving up anything on a screwdriver ratchet handle any kind of a hand tool but for Clear up till the end of March this year, my finger would curl at night. So I started sleeping with these bands. So at bedtime, I would put this number on and sleep with that. It would hold it fairly straight. Now, even today, in the morning when I get up after sleeping with this on, when I take it off, I run hot water over it for a few minutes. And I will not be able to bend it like this, not even close for about a half an hour. You just have to kind of ease into it. If I did not sleep with the splint on it, it would curl. And in the morning, it would be like that. Then I'd have to go through the same motions, get some hot water on it, kind of warm it up, and slowly straighten it out. After surgery, I went to hand therapy for six weeks, twice a week. And she gave me this when I left. When I left, I had to really work this finger. This is called a finger jack or a joint jack and it works I used to have to originally I had a pretty good bend in it and I have to slowly straighten it out and get the jack on it even by loosening the velcro but now I can just slip it on in the evening right over your knuckle turn the old thumb screw and it puts pressure on it now it's pulling that knuckle down to this contour here it hurts in the beginning, but after a while, you just feel like you're stretching that tendon. and It just feels like it's the right thing to do. And you can leave that on for 5 or 10 minutes, 15, whatever. If you leave it on, I notice for even as long as 30 minutes, and take it off. What will happen is when you straighten it, when you hyperextend it straight like that for like 20 or 30 minutes, now you can't bend it. You have to kind of ease into the bend again. I enjoy this kind of movement, and I'm glad to have it. I think it'll be better next year. Now, what happens, too, when you grip a zero-turn mower lever for hours or a steering wheel on a small tractor or even driving, I'll show you what to do when I drive, that finger will want to curl. When I get off a zero-turn mower after mowing for like three hours, I can't just snap it open. It's got to kind of ease into it. I just give it a few minutes, maybe several minutes, and then I can get back to a to a straight finger. Now I'll show you a trick that the therapist told me to do when I'm driving. If I do a whole lot of driving and just grip the wheel and just normally for an hour or two, it will want to stay in a curled position. So as I drive, I just kind of work it down the steering wheel, put a little pressure on it, come down to the gear shifter, put a little pressure on it. Now I talked to my orthopedic surgeon about it and he thinks because when I open that up, you can see some white around that incision. He says I've got some scar tissue in there. And this makes a big difference. If you can rub that scar tissue out all you can while you're driving, works out really well just going down the road. 
and rubbing that incision. About a half inch around that incision on all sides. He said, until that scar tissue breaks up fully, I'm not going to have 100% range of motion. And believe it or not, it feels good when you do rub that incision like that. You wouldn't think it would right on the cut, but it does. And the physical therapist, she worked with that a lot with a steel, smooth, like a spoon-shaped tool. She kept rubbing that out. She put some kind of a lotion on it. Well, everybody out there having the trigger finger surgery, I hope this helps you. And if you have any issues, I hope it all works out for you. On the initial surgery, I did not get a second opinion. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. Well, thanks for watching and work safe out there.